Hi, I'm Mike Sexton, host slash commentator on the World Poker Tour. All right, so Mike, you've been with them for the 11 seasons, and I just want to know a little bit of what it's been like for you from the first WPT till now. Well, it's been an amazing ride being on the World Poker Tour since its inception, and to see how poker has grown and uh, how much better the play is today than of yesteryear. It's just really been fascinating to watch the growth of poker, not just here in the United States, but worldwide as well. Hi everyone, welcome to the World Poker Tour. I'm Mike Sexton along with Vince Van Patten. But whether it was a big name or an underdog who took the title, the guys who have seen it all these past 10 seasons are still here to call the action. Poker Hall of Famer Mike Sexton and LA's own Vince Van Patten. I put on a big event in poker called the Tournament of Champions. I also put on the Party Poker Million back in those days. It turns out a guy named Steve Lipscomb filmed both of those events for me before the World Poker Tour came about. And once after the Tournament of Champions, he said, Mike, he said, that was the best job of commentary I've ever heard. I said, thanks. Didn't think much more about it. Then you fast forward a couple years later, where he started the World Poker Tour, and he came up to me and he said, Mike, he said, I've got good news and bad news for you. The good news is, I'd like you to be a commentator on the World Poker Tour. The bad news is, if you take the job, you can't play in any of the tournaments. Who knew they'd play for a million dollars a week back then? So. <laughs> so you couldn't play any of the tournaments? No, we could not play any of the tournaments. The first seven seasons on the World Poker Tour, we didn't play any of the events. No limit hold'em. Two cards down and five cards up for everyone to play, and you can lose it all in a single hand. All right, so you were just a poker player. You get asked to do this. How did they prep you for your very first show? And what was going through your head? Take me through the weeks leading up to that first moment. Well, I'll tell you, our first event was at Bellagio back in 2002. Now, down to the WPT Arena, where poker champion Mike Sexton and Hollywood home game sensation Vince Van Patten are standing by. And, you know, I had the job as commentator. Now, still, I'd never done a TV show, didn't know anything about it. You know, so to me, I was just taking all poker notes and my stories from the old days. And I had a couple yellow pages of notebook pad of notes just that I brought with me, just in case, you know, we had to fill airtime or something. I'd tell some of these stories and all that. Welcome to the debut of the World Poker Tour. We are in Las Vegas for the Five Diamond World Poker Classic at Bellagio. Vince, this is so exciting. How you doing? And that's how I started, but I remember my heart was pounding so bad. I was so scared. When I walked in and saw that set for the first time and saw how much equipment that it took to put on a television show, I had no idea. I'd never seen one, you know? I walk in, I see all these machines and wires everywhere and the big set and the place was jam-packed and all the VIPs from the casino as well as the VIPs in the poker world, they were all there that night. And my heart was pounding. I had to do the opening of the show live where the beat, you know, the, the thing came down in front of us and boy, oh boy, was I scared to death. And I tell you the truth, I must have drank at least six beers that night. And I believe to this day that the young players that we have out on tour that grew up watching that World Poker Tour when they're 15, 16 years old, and here's Gus, the aggressive player, and that's the reason these guys are so aggressive today. They saw how successful it was for him, and they've now taken it even to a new level. Whenever I watch that very first episode, all I think about is when I was in high school when it aired, and it was just, that was the moment that poker just hit. So it was awesome. Yeah, it really did. I mean, people, you know, I know they like to give a lot of credit to online poker and Moneymaker winning the World Series and, and ESPN's cover, but the truth of the matter is, the poker explosion, the reason for the massive growth of poker, period, simple, the creation of the World Poker Tour. I want to know what's your favorite memory of all the LAPCs that we've had? Well, my favorite moment probably of the LAPCs, uh, there's a couple of them. When Antonio won the first one because he was so colorful, or, or won, won early on, you know, and that made him a big star in the poker world. But my favorite final table was the one that both Phil Ivey and Phil Helmuth were at. They were sitting side by side, I think it was back in season six or 2006, and Phil Ivey, it was the ninth time I think he'd been to a WPT final table, more than any other player in the world, but he never won. Phil Helmuth had never won a WPT title and still hasn't to this day. And on that particular day, Phil Ivey ended up taking down that title. And it was great to see him win, but the truth of the matter is he got very lucky to win that tournament. I mean, he sucked out several times himself, and uh, uh, normally that doesn't happen to him, but that particular day, Lady Luck was shining on Phil Ivey or he wouldn't have won that tournament. So. It just shows you, I don't care how big a star you are, what kind of big name you are, you know, the poker guy's got to be aligned and Lady Luck's got to be smiling on you 
you know, A, when you have the best hand, it's got to hold up, and B, once in a while, you got to suck out. You got to do it if you want to take home the trophy. Well, I'm always asked what my favorite moments are in the history of the World Poker Tour, and, and probably a couple of them jump right out at me, come to mind, and, and uh, number one probably on that list is when Doyle Brunson won the Legends of Poker. It's an eight. It's over. Doyle Brunson has done it. Doyle Brunson, the living legend of poker, has captured his title. He was the first world champion that won a WPT title. He's the godfather of poker. He won when he was 72 years young, and to this day, he's the oldest player to ever win out here in the World Poker Tour. But him winning cemented the World Poker Tour, in my mind, for the great all-star players that won World Series of Poker bracelets and WPT titles. And, and Doyle did that, and uh, you know, he's been a dear friend of mine for a long time, and uh, to see him win was a very special moment, you know. And uh, another moment, to me, that nobody ever talks about hardly, was when Carlos Mortensen won our WPT World Championship event, our $25,000 buy-in. He's the only player in history that won the main event at the World Series of Poker and the main event on the World Poker Tour. I think that's something we may never see happen again in our lifetime. So, to me, that belongs at the top of anybody's list. One of the greatest ovations we've ever seen on the World Poker Tour, and deservedly so, Carlos Mortensen has just become the first man ever who's captured the main event at the World Series of Poker and the main event on the World Poker Tour. That's a feat we may not see again for the next 20 years. And certainly, uh, you know, it's fun for me to see the new upcoming young stars, uh, you know, in the poker world now. And actually, talent-wise, they've surpassed the old legend and the old guard of players. Uh, so much more aggressive. I've been proud to be a part of the World Poker Tour for a long time. I'm sure it was a factor in my being elected to the Poker Hall of Fame back in 2009. And, uh, you know, that's the highest honor any poker player could ever achieve. And, and so, you know, I'll always have special fondness and respect uh, for Steve Lipscomb, a guy that put the World Poker Tour together. You know, I get asked once in a while, uh, you know, who's the most influential people in the history of poker? And to me, two guys just jump off the page. Jack Binion for creating the World Series of Poker and Steve Lipscomb for founding the World Poker Tour. Believe me, nobody has made an impact or a growth on poker more than those two guys, and it isn't even close. Uh, you know, I'm very proud to have been a part of that from the beginning, and we're still going strong, going into our 12th season here before long, and it's been pretty impressive. Uh, nobody does poker better than the World Poker Tour.